Hey there, uh, I'm Jason and this is my friend Paul. Howdy, Paul. Yeah, and uh, we met uh, back all the way in uh, grade nine in drama class uh, and have been pretty much been best friends ever since. And I think it was around grade 11, grade 12 uh, that we started to get our licenses uh, and like just the freedom of driving was like a really, really big moment for us. Uh, and so like getting our licenses and being able to just be like in a car, in a locked car, pulled over on the side of the road, uh, like <laughs> for extended periods of time, uh, just like sort of opened up that space where like I think that we were just craving that, that need to like open up yeah. to someone about like, you know, what's actually going on in our lives. Uh, we would stop on this one street on Ninth Line. And uh, I don't know who started first, if someone just wanted to have a conversation about their mental health or something that's going on at the time, but we ended up stopping at the street more often. Mostly just listen to music and tease each other, but then eventually, I don't even know when this started, but we'd start talking about our relationships, and then you actually have to start talking about your feelings because now you, you care about people, and uh, that, without you knowing it, kind of opens up a vulnerability that uh, you didn't realize they had in yourself, and that you can actually talk to people about that. I think I'm just being silly and bantering with my friends, but I'm actually getting something out of it that I didn't didn't realize at the time. There was never a space where it was like, we have to share all of our feelings right now. Like, let's, let, let's <laughs> Feelings go. Feelings time. Feelings time, like, we must do this. Uh, and like, to just be like in a car, uh, pulled over on the side of the road, uh, like, you're not going anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> but then it would just like naturally flow into like moments where like, just like, uh, any one of us could just like be like, you know what? Actually, like I want to talk to you guys about something, mm. and like that, and that was that that open safe space where we you could know, do that. Yeah. Our ninth line conversations kind of set the groundwork for what would later on be a comfort zone for we can actually talk to each other about things. Jay's always been a strong person for me, someone who never gets down and can take a beating, but uh, one day decided to have a conversation. Well, hey man, um, I'm actually in a really dark place right now, and uh, you know I don't necessarily need to talk about it, but. Um, if I do, I want to come to you and keep an eye on me. That kind of taught me that uh, people actually do break down and uh, I, have, I have a job as a friend. You didn't respond in a negative way or you didn't, you didn't like instantly point at me and be like, dude, like, get over it. Not comfortable with this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, you stuck around, you asked questions yeah. and, you, and you really showed that you cared in that moment, which was like so, so huge for me. And I knew then that we could start having those conversations more. Before, I didn't actually know what I was going to do at the time. I'm like, do I, do I call it out when I see it? Do I need to... Uh, be his therapist now, like, what do I do? I, I just decided to be present and be available. I remember that second conversation, uh, or like the second time around, when you came to me saying that you were struggling with your mental health, it was like, I was like, oh, I know exactly how to be there for you right now. It's exactly the way you were for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, and, like, and like, it just sort of like fell into place, and it was almost like we knew what to do already. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was, we had check-ins regularly yeah. after that, and just, that was, it was normal. You did a great <laughs> job. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> And that's why mental health is important.